Hello darling, so today we're going to be uh, looking at the Lawless New Powder Foundation. So this concealer, um, Dior Forever, is in the color 2N. And we're going to start with that. That's 2N. It looks it looks a little pink. So but let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> Ooh, creamy. It feels full cover. Airy. It's not like um, heavy like Huda's Fox Filter. Although that's good. It's a good concealer, but I'm just like, uh, just to sh give you an, a description. Like if you try that one, then this feels lighter. Oh, full cover. Yeah. I can see the full cover like right away. So I'm going to do my eyes. Maybe a little bit over here. I like the color. Because I usually like this area to be a little brighter. So one shade lighter than my my foundation is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna okay I'm gonna put a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna grab it from here. The next product that we're gonna be trying out. Um, in this video is the Lawless uh, foundation. I believe this is a foundation. Let me just check. Okay, so reading Lawless Perfecting Powder. Talk, talk free skin smoothing powder. I think I read that this was a foundation. Clean like you've never seen. The perfecting powder that truly does it all. This talk fo formula provides serious smoothness and polish to the skin. I'm sorry, it's, it has some lines, so it's kind of hard to read it. Um, okay, so where was I? Perfecting powder may be used alone as your foundation. That's what I read. So I was preparing to use it as a foundation. Or maybe applied as your setting powder over foundation. This soft matte finish is beautiful for touching up throughout the day, adding coverage where needed, and mattifying shine in oily areas. This one-of-a-kind powder um, imparts a soft focus effect on the skin, delivering an extraordinary skin-like but perfecting look to the complexion. Love the description. Perfecting powder is your new complexion secret weapon to make your skin and the rest of your makeup look soft, smooth, and last all day. Sounds good. Sounds like a perfect, perfect. It's going to solve all our problems. Yay. Okay. So um, I wasn't sure what color to pick. So this one is light medium. Uh, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> so this is the packaging. Sorry. So this is the packaging. Um, and it's just, it's, it reminds me of the Patrick Ta uh, packaging. It's got little holes over here. Um, I don't, okay. Whoa, okay, so this is unveiling the product. And okay, it's got a nice size mirror. And here is light medium. Okay. 
okay, you're seeing it for like before I get to see anything. What's in here? Okay, so there's a there's a black sponge. Okay, Lawless, I hope I hope you put that in there after many testing that it is the perfect tool to apply your foundation. Okay, so this light medium, it might be too light for me. So I also got, uh, oh no, okay. The other one I got is even lighter. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the light one in case you're wondering what it, they look like. That's the light. And there we go. That is the sponge. So this is light medium and this is light. Light medium looks if I'm seeing correctly, it looks like it has, it's more beigey, this one right here. Light medium looks more like there's gray in it. I cannot with gray. My skin tone does not, okay, wait, okay, so when I see it, when I see them close. Okay, okay, yeah, in person, this, I don't know what you saw on the camera because I could only see the viewfinder, but when I see it, this one looks, it doesn't look gray. I was, I got a little scared there. I thought it had a gray undertone because then it was not going to work for me. Okay, so yeah, I think they're a true neutral, a neutral shade. Oh, they have, um, because <laughs> the, uh, the lid is closed by magnet. I think they, they're a good shade. Like if you're light, you're gonna be happy with it. They are neutral. They're not reddish. They're not grayish. They're like a neutral undertone, which is perfect. I'm gonna apply the light medium. I don't know. I Like, okay, I'm gonna have to apply that one because, okay, let's see. Um, light medium, I'm gonna put back the, the light shade because you don't want to touch that okay okay here we go so the light I'm gonna swatch it so you're seeing this first oh no that's light Whoa, look at that, okay. It's going on though. It's going in, we're going in with it. <laughs> Light, medium, lawless powder. And it, it's got a blurring property, it says. Okay, so I'm gonna use this, okay. That's what I'm getting. That looks a little like my skin color, like my skin shade. It looks a little darker on here than on the pan. Let's see. Oh, that looks nice. That looks, that's like full cover. Mm. It's dry, guys, and I don't see it perfecting my skin. I see all of my pores. I'm going to go in again. Oh my God, no way. This is not good. This is so dry and it emphasizes my pores. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. So far, like over here, she's emphasizing my pores. It's going in around, it's, it's applying around my pores and skipping my pores, making them 
more visible. Like I could see the little pores. I am now going to apply it with a foundation brush. And I'm going to use the Mario foundation brush because this is what I've been using with many other uh, foundations. So I know this, this applies good. Oh my God. Okay. And I do, I did um, apply the, um, the moisturizer. Okay. But I'm going to apply a little more because I'm concerned that this is, this is, so I'm going to apply it to one side. Because, oh my goodness, okay, I don't, oh, I'm a little, I'm already thinking that this foundation is not going to be good. Like, first impressions, terrible, terrible, but we're going to keep playing with it. I am really moisturizing. See, where I applied the concealer, it was the same situation as here like I had put I put on this I put on this lotion all over the face and when I put the concealer I was not concerned that it was my skin could be dry but when I did this one it just looks super dry so I am going to do this to put lotion because that's only fair I mean I do that with every foundation but uh, with this one, I just did it before the video. Okay, so before I turn on the camera. Okay. On this side with the brush. Okay. I am concerned about this powder because they have such fantastic description. I, I don't think it's translating. Okay. So here it looks good. Let me apply some more here. Okay, the shade is good. It's not too light. I was concerned about that. Hmm. hmm. You know the time of release of this product makes me believe that they were thinking about summertime makeup and it says it lasts all day so okay let's check that out okay it went a lot better with moisturizing and so but i could right here I can see the orange peel pore situation here, but I'm going to apply a little more there. It's worse. Oh my God. It's worse. Okay. Oh my God. It's getting worse. It's like caking, but powder caking. Oh no. And it's only in this area right here. That is a complete fail. I cannot, I cannot use this foundation. Like if it's going to do this, is it, does it require a primer? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to test this foundation with a primer as well to let you ladies who want it, who are interested in this product, but do like using a foundation a, a primer i'm gonna do that test for you so you can decide so this is a side with less um uh lotion oh my god this is a total fail At this point, if I was not reviewing this foundation, I would be putting it back in the box and sending it back. But for you ladies and gentlemen, I am going to give it a full review. 
Okay, so uh, I just went on top of the concealer. It looks okay. Uh, not as good as the Kosas powder that I've been recently testing. Okay, so over here, orange peel to the max on both sides. Okay, now I am going to uh, give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe I just put too much here. But I was trying to... I was trying to cover the um, the orange peel, like the the pores, and but it's just it looks like caked on powder. Mm. At least the color is good, so I cannot say okay, maybe it's the color, the shade, light medium. I am going to take one side out this side probably and put a primer on but this is how it's looking right now i have removed all of the foundation and i am going to redo everything again um because of the fact that maybe i put too much here i want to give it a chance you know so i'm going to try it again i'm going to do this side with um lotion and the other side with the milk primer. The lotion is on, now going in with the primer on this side. Okay, I'm gonna let the lotion dry a little bit or set a little bit. Usually, I don't go in with a primer on my first impressions, but because of because that description, of this product is sounds so good i'm like okay you know what if this is gonna like do all of that let me see if it's true okay it's not true without a primer i don't think so i don't think it is but because of those little things that here i might have put too much i'm giving it the benefit of the doubt and I'm going to redo that. So we're giving it a lot of opportunities to shine. Okay, following with the primer. One pump, two pumps. This is plenty. And also this time, um, I don't know, I'm thinking to put it over my eyes as well. Like, over here because it says it's a foundation right so if it's a foundation and it's like uh, it lasts all day this might be a product that you want to wear when you go to the beach or you know you're out in the summer right so and you you don't want to wear like a whole bunch of makeup you just maybe you just want to put this on to even your complexion and it, and you're expecting it to perform as described lasting all day perfecting your skin and okay, like, you know, this is, if it's gonna do all of that is saying, I can agree to give it a primer. I mean, it, because I'm then I'm gonna expect it to be perfecting, to do everything that it's described to do. Okay, moment of truth. Are you gonna work? Are you going to shine? Okay. So hmm, should, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the with the um, the the uh, sponge provided because I'm assuming they've tested this and they have concluded that this little sponge, that this sponge, whatever they applicator they include here, I'm assuming that they tested it out and it is the best that they could come up with. That, I mean, that's the purpose, that's what they should do, right? Not put like just anything that it's gonna, it, it's not gonna work with their product. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this just in here. Because when, if you're out and I'm gonna be very careful not to pile it up, pile it up like a whole bunch of it, um, just because I don't want any user error. 
So I'm going to do a light layer all over. There is nothing of the sort in association with the description. It is not mathing with the description so far. But let's keep going. Okay, so we are getting ready to go to the beach. It's a summer day and we are just applying this because it's gonna make our skin perfect. It's gonna blur our imperfections. Um, what else was it gonna do? And I will tell you what it does do and what it does not. Okay. So that is the application included. I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, I can tell you right now that it does, it is full cover enough to cover your dark circles or your eyes, you know, or like where you would put concealer. It is opaque or full cover enough to be able to achieve what you need here. I am really going around the eye because I want to get into all of the little, I'm gonna wiggle it as well. I can still see my pores right here. It's the same, that orange peel. Pores, huge. They emphasize it. Oh my God, that is the correct description. It, it emphasizes my pores instead of minimizing or blurring like it describes. I'm going to go over here a little bit more to see what happens. No, it does not blur, blur my, my skin. Emphasize, it's like I have a magnifying glass right here. Boom. It makes my pores worse. Like when I have no makeup, I can't, I can't really see them. But this is like the foundation goes around the pores and making the pores stand out because it does not go on top of it. It does not cover them. It does not blur them. It looks like it just goes around it and it emphasizes them because it goes around it. It does not like blend in or It does not blend into my skin in this area. Here, everywhere else, yes. Right here, yes, it does. Um, I can feel that this is going to settle into lines big time because it's already very dry. Even though we used a primer. I would not use this around my eyes because it's too drying and it does not perfect anything. It just emphasizes all the fine lines. Like over here, it, it looks um, like bumpy. It does not look smooth at all. It does cover the under eye discoloration or like darker um, area. It does because it's, um, 
it's like a it's a full cover product but no way you know what this has nothing innovation there's no innovation with this product i can tell you that right now i have applied um drugstore foundation powders that looked exactly like this like from like 10 years ago like maybelline l'oreal i think l'oreal has like the true match i tried that once this reminds me of it the tea is dropped i'm going to continue on the other side okay with the brush this time and this is the side that only has the lotion we're going in So if you're my skin shade, light medium would be good for you. Um, or you can go with medium for the summer because this is my winter shade still. I have no, I don't have any tan right now. Maybe a little bit, but not not much. But definitely when it gets like pure summer, like July. June, July, August, I will not be able to use this all over my face. I tan very easily. It does not. Lines. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with the smaller side. Yeah, this goes into the little areas here. Okay. Oh no, emphasizes all the lines here. And over here, the lines, boom. This will make you look older than you are. The shade is beautiful. I like that it's a neutral color. It's true neutral. That's fantastic because we've tr struggled enough <laughs> with foundations that are either too pink, too yellow, too beige, too gray. <laughs> Stick with neutral people or, or just tell us what's true neutral, what's true pink, what's true under colors just be consistent thank you that would help all of us you as the brands and us as consumers this is a true neutral so no problems there it looks beautiful i like that it has it has like a golden like it it enhances my the color enhances my skin the shade color enhances it's perfect Nothing wrong, amazing color. They nailed the neutral undertone. I would say, but then again, I like golden, more of a, yeah, like a golden undertone. That's my jam. And um, I'm saying that this is neutral and i love it i like neutral and a little gold okay so here i am close to show you right here this is the worst of it and then over here can you see it okay Okay, so my camera died, so I had to wait a little bit, charge it. 
Um, and I went to the washroom and I looked at the foundation and the undertone, as I was saying, is perfection. The neutral is so neutral. It's like beautiful, beautiful. I am so pleased with the color. I will tell you, okay, if you are, uh, oh, okay, so my skin is combination to dry. At the moment, I'm feeling that it's more dry than usual. So for me, this does not work. But if you are oily skin, this is going to be a heaven scent for you this summer because it is beautiful, but it's drying on me. So, you, But you need that. If you have oily skin, you need more of a, something that controls your oils. So this would be amazing for you. I recommend it. For those girls who have oily skin, check it out. Check it out. It might be your holy grail. For me, it's only that it's drying. Everything else, I love about it. But because it's too drying, it just, it doesn't blend. Like if my skin was oily, it would just blend in into my oils and work nicely. But I'm not oily. So... It has nothing to work with, you know? Um, so for you you oily girls, yeah, check, check. I recommend this. The color is beautiful. It's just, if you're my skin tone and you're oily skin, pick it up, try it, and let me know in the comment section how it worked out for you if you, if you try it. If you've tried it, if you have it, if you're going to try it, and what kind of skin you have. Let me know in the comment section. So, I love the color though. Like, I love the undertone. I am in love with it because it's so hard to find a true neutral on a foundation. Like, for example, LYS is one of my best foundations. I love it because it's a fantastic price and it's good. But I do feel like it has a little hint of pink in it. Although, when I blend it in, I put the um, bronzers on. You can't see nothing. There's no issue. It, but it does have a little hint of pink. But it doesn't. It doesn't interfere with much. But this one does not. This is a true neutral. It's like a beautiful color. I am in love with the color, the shade. So this is light medium. Um. Yeah. So if you're my shade, and you think you're gonna get tan, then pick up the medium. But otherwise, it's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. It's just that it's drying on me. But I recommend it as the tone is just amazing. I can't believe how nice of a tone, the neutral tone that they did. 